வணக்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டாக்டர் வணங்காமுடி ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் ட்ரினிட்டி கல்ச்சுரல் அகாடமி கோயம்புத்தூர் அண்ட் நியூ இந்தியா பப்ளிஷிங் ஏஜென்சி நியூ டெல்லி வெல்கம்ஸ் ஆல் தி அக்ரிகல்ச்சுரல் ஹார்டிகல்ச்சுரல் அண்ட் அலைடு கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் பட் ஆல்சோ தி சயின்ஸ் கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் அண்ட் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் வில் பி ஆன் Uh, the qualitative and quantitative characters this comes under the plant breeding and genetics and now we will see the topic uh, in particular what do you mean by qualitative characters or uh, otherwise it is called as oligogenic characters character under simple genetic control that is that means that is governed by one or few genes and that is called as qualitative characters or oligogenic characters and the classical example for this qualitative characters are color of stem flower pollen and their shapes and uh, with respect to quantitative characters or otherwise it is called as polygenic characters and this characters is under complex genetic control and they are governed by many genes that means and this character is called also called as polygenic characters the term polygene was introduced by mather in 1941 the examples are the yield per plant days to flower days to maturity seed size drought tolerance etc now we will see the actual differences between the qualitative characters and quantitative characters for some, some important characters if you take nature of traits the characters that have been the mendelian inheritance and described according to the kind while the quantitative characters are concerned with the degree of expression of the trait and with respect to scale of variability the qualitative characters have the discrete or discontinuous phenotypic variation while the quantitative characters are continuous variation a uh, number of uh, genes and the single genes are readily detectable in qualitative characters while polygenic control are governing the traits in quantitative characters uh, with respect to mating pattern here the individual mating mating and their pol- progeny Uh, with respect to quantitative characters the population of individuals that may comprise a diversity of mating kind the regarding the statistical analysis the qualitative characters are based on the frequencies and ratios while the estimates of population parameters that is a uh, biometric parameters namely mean and variance with respect to quantitative characters the qualitative characters have less environmental effect while the quantitative characters have more environmental effect and uh, there is a interaction between the environment and uh, quantitative variation all genes are expressed in an environment that is a phenotype is governed by genotype and environmental interaction effect however quantitative traits tend to be influenced to a greater degree than qualitative traits by the environment in polygenic inheritance the segregation occurs at a large number of loci affecting a trait a single trait is affected by a large number of genes located in loci phenotypic expression of polygenic traits is depending on variation in environmental factors to which plants in the population are subjected polygenic variation cannot be classified into discrete 
groups that means there is a continuous variation this is because of the large number of segregating loci each with so small effects that is not possible to identify of individual gene effects in the segregation population biometrics is used to describe the population in terms of means and variances continuous variation is caused by environmental and genetic variation due to the simultaneous segregation of many genes affecting the triad polygenic uh, inheritance we will see this is being demonstrated by nilsen ehli in 1910 and it is defined as quantitative inheritance where multiple independent genes have an additive or similar effect on a single quantitative triad each polygenic character is controlled by several independent genes and each gene has cumulative effect there are about six important assumptions regarding polygenic characters many of genes determine the quantitative trait and each producing an equal effect these genes lack dominance and there is a intermediate expression between two parents action of genes are either cumulative or additive in nature there is no epistasis among the genes at a different loci the linkage is in equilibrium means there is no linkage environmental effects are absent or may be ignored friends so far we have seen six important assumptions and now we see there are two types of alleles or genes in a polygenic uh, the inheritance the first one is the contributing alleles that means those alleles which contribute to continuous variation that is called contributing alleles whereas non contributing alleles is concerned with those which do not contribute to continuous variation and uh, now we will see discuss about the gene action gene action refers to the behavior or mode of expression of genes in a genetic population that helps in the selection of parents for use in hybridization program and also in the choice of appropriate breeding procedure for the genetic improvement of various quantitative characters and we can see the main features of uh, the gene action it is measured in terms of components of genetic variants or combining ability variants and their effects it uh, the gene actions are studied using various biochemical techniques such as diallele analysis partial diallele cross tri allele analysis quadri allele analysis line into tester analysis generation mean analysis by parental cross and triple test cross analysis these are all the biometrical techniques which are used for measuring the gene action there are four types of uh, gene action and the first one is additive dominance epistatic and over dominance this is the fourth one first we will discuss one by one first one is the additive gene action the effect of gene is said to be additive when each addition additional gene enhances the expression of triad by equal increments this is more important if one gene adds one unit to a triad the effect of small a small a capital b small b small b is equal to zero recessive g and the capital a small a small b and small b is equal to 1 capital a capital b and small b is equal to 3 and all capitals a a b b is equal to 4 that means one gene adds one unit to a triad for a single locus having the 
dominant allele and recessive allele. The heterozygote would be exactly intermediate between the parents. That means uh, if there is a double A, the dominant genes, capital A, that is equivalent to 2, and capital A and cap small a genes that is equivalent to 1 and if there are uh, there are two recessive genes that means small a small a that is equivalent to 0 that is the performance of an allele is the same irrespective of other alleles at the same locus a superior phenotype will breed true in the next generation, making selection for the trait more effective to control. Selection is most effective for additive variants and it can be fixed in plant breeding. That means to develop a cultivar that is homozygous. And the second a gene action is a dominance gene action. The dominance effects are deviations from additivity that make the heterozygote resemble one parent more than other. When dominance is complete, the heterozygote is equal to the homozygote in effects. That means capital A small a is equivalent to capital A and capital A. Bilder cannot distinguish between heterozygous and homozygous phenotypes. Consequently, both kinds of plants will be selected. That means heterozygous plants and homozygous plants. The homozygotes will breed true while heterozygotes will not breed true in the next generation. That is the dominance gene action. The third one is epistatic gene action. In quantitative inheritance, epistasis is described as non-allelic gene interaction. When two genes interact, an effect can be produced where there was none. Example, capital A, small a, capital small b and small b is equal to zero. And small a, small a, capital B and capital B is equal to 0, but a and b is equal to 4. The estimation of gene action or genetic variance, variance requires the use of large population and a mating design. But the effect of the environment on polygenes makes an estimate more challenging. The fourth and last Gene action is over dominance and this exists when each allele at a locus produces a separate effect on the phenotype and their combined effect exceeds the independent effect of the alleles. That means small a, small a is equal to 1, capital A and capital A is equal to 1 and capital A and small a is equal to 2. This is the over dominance gene action. From pre-breeding standpoint of view, breeder can fix over dominance effects only in the first generation. That means F1 hybrid through apomixis or through chromosome doubling of the wide crosses. And let us now see the gene action in different types of genetic materials. In the case of self-pollinated species, the pure line variety is having additive but no genetic variation. And mass selected variety having additive and additive epistasis. Multi-lines will have additive and additive epistasis and varietal blends that also have both additive and additive epistasis. In the case of cross-pollinated crops, the composite variety, there are three types of gene action, additive, dominance and epistasis. And similarly for the synthetic variety and as well as for random mating population. In all the threes, these three gene action takes place. 
if it is uh, the craw the line is uh, crop is self or cross pollinated species the f1 hybrid having non additive and no genetic variation f2 population have the gene action of additive dominance and epistasis and now see the let us see the components of genetic variants genetic properties of population are determined by the relative magnitudes of the component variants by knowing the component variants one may estimate the relative importance of the various determinants of the phenotype so the phenotypic value of quantitative traits the for the it is the phenotype p capital p is equivalent to the g genotype and as well as equal to the e the environment phenotypic value is variable because it depends on genetic differences among individuals as well as environmental factors and their interaction between the genotype and environment and environment and that is called as ge interaction total vary variance of quantitative triads may be ma mathematically expressed capital this is the phenotypic variation is equivalent to vj genotypic variation plus uh, environmental variation plus vge that is the variance associated with the genetic and environmental interaction the genetic component of uh, the variants may be further partitioned into three components as follows and vg that's a genetic variance is equal to the additive variance and vd dominant variance and vi the interaction between the genotype and also the environment that is the variation from interaction between genes and additive genetic variance is the variance of breeding values and is the primary cause of resemblance between relatives hence va that's additive variance is the primary determinant of the observable geno genetic properties of the population and of the response of population to the selection and the additive variation is the only component that the researcher can most readily estimate from the observation made in the population consequently it is common to partition genetic variation to two that's a additive versus all other kinds of variance this ratio the additive variance uh, divided by the phenotypic variance gives what is called heritability of the triad an estimate that is the practical importance in plant breeding so the total phenotypic variance may then be rewritten as the phenotypic variance is equal equivalent to additive variation and the dominant variation plus the uh, interaction between the additive and uh, dominant variation the environment plus environmental variation plus vge and this is the total phenotypic variance in some variances from additive dominant and environmental effects may be obtained as follows vp1 is equal to e vp2 is also equal to e vf1 is also equal to e and vf2 is equal to half a plus 1 for quarter d plus e and vb1 is equal to 1/4 a and 1/4 d plus e vb2 1/4 a 1/4 d plus e and vb1 plus vb2 is equal to 
half a plus half d plus 2a. And now we will see the concepts of uh, the heritability. Heritability is defined as a fraction. It is the ratio of genetically caused variation to total variation, including both the environmental and genetic variation. The concept of reliability of phenotypic value of the plant is a guide to the breeding value that is additive genotypic variation. It is called as heritability of metric triad. Heritability is the proportion of the observed variation in a progeny that is inherited. Heritability measures this degree of correspondence. It does not measure genetic control of triad. And there are two types of heritability and broad sense heritability that means it is estimated using total genetic variance. It is expressed mathematically as H is equivalent to Vg divided by Vp. Narrow sense heritability because the additive component of genetic variation determines the response to selection. The narrow sense heritability estimate is more useful to plant breeders that you have to note it down and than the broad sense estimate. It is estimated as H, H2 is equivalent to VA divided by VP. And magnitude of narrow sense heritability cannot exceed and is usually less than the corresponding broad sense heritability estimate. With this, I am closing this presentation. Thank you very much for your patience in listening my presentation. Kindly watch this video and give your like, share this material, this video, this important video to your friends and the groups. Kindly comment on this presentation and kindly subscribe this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your kind support.